It has been a hot minute, but I'm back. Life's been a little bit crazy. I really have not had time to film. I'll be honest, YouTube has been like down here on the priority list lately, but I got some stuff coming up for you guys and I'm super excited. So for those of you that have never been here before, hello, I'm Ashlyn, welcome. And if you have been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I thought we'd go through this bad boy together today. I love FabFitFun. If you didn't see my fall unboxing, I'll go ahead and link it. Um, these boxes are super fun. If you've, if you've never seen or heard of FabFitFun, you probably live under a rock because they're all over social media. But basically, it's just a giant box of goodies for primarily for females. But um, it's like 50 bucks a month and you get hundreds of dollars worth of really good stuff. And it's kind of an like excessive purchase, but you know, four times a year, I wouldn't do this monthly, four times a year, it's seasonal. So four times a year you get to treat yourself. And it's kind of fun. And I get to try stuff that I would never try before. So let's see what's in the winter box. This one, I picked out like my customizations so long ago. I cannot even remember what is in there. I don't know what's going on with my hair right now. There we go. I don't remember really what's in here. I do remember that when I was going through the customizations, there was a lot of stuff that like I already had on my list of things I wanted for Christmas. So that was kind of cool um, that they kind of were built in there. But um, you always get a little magazine. This tells you like and got a couple articles usually and then it tells you like in depth what's in the boxes how much things cost what brand and item this that whatever i like to look at that at the end and total up how much value i got then got the good stuff i'm pumped i think this was supposed to be a really good one um there's really only been like two boxes i've ever gotten that i didn't love um or where like a majority of the stuff wasn't like what I really was gonna use. Um, but this one, I think, if I'm remembering right, when I was looking at the previews and stuff, looked really awesome. So, first thing we have. Ooh. It's called Color Switch Instant Brush Cleaner. So, you literally just. This is a Glide Makeup Brush. Again, it's like spongy wooly type stuff in there. It says glide your makeup brush against it. And that's it. No liquid or cleaner needed. Wash with soap and water, then lay flat to dry. Cool. And it comes with a little lid. This honestly would be so good for like uh, traveling. If you use a lot of like eyeshadows and face brushes and stuff, um, you can bring this with you and not have to worry about transferring colors. Um, I hate cleaning maker brushes, so the little bit that I do that, I probably will use this. This looks awesome. Um, what's next? Looks like we have some beauty stuff. This is, ooh, from Dry Bar. This is Prime and Prep Detangler. Heat protectant. So it's primes, preps, and detangles, formulated with biotin, vitamins B and C, and UV blockers. Lightweight detangler protects hair from heat and preps hair from op optimal performance of styling products. Mist on damp hair and brush through before blow drying, or spray on to dry bangs, fringe, and re-blow to freshen up your look. It's super cute, a little pink package. I love the packaging. Dry bar is supposed to be really good stuff. So, and this, these are like full size products. That's the other thing. Um, nothing you get is going to be trial sized, which is really cool considering you only pay $50 for the whole box. Um, and then we have Cuccio Somatology, I think. Um, Calm and Clean Epsom Salt Hand and Body Wash. So, this is pretty big also. It's got a pump. That's nice. Lavender oil, B vitamin B5, and shea butter. It's 
very like relaxing scent for sure. Definitely smell the lavender in there. Sweet. I'll probably use that as a hand soap. Um, with my eczema, I have specific things that I like to use on my body to keep from drying out super bad. But this smells really good. I, this would be a really good hand soap. I've never heard of this brand, but I'm assuming it's good if it's in here. Um, what's next? Oh my gosh. Beauty Bakery eyeshadow palette. I've never tried Beauty Bakery either. Beauty, Beauty Bakery proof is in the pudding eyeshadow palette. I can't even say it. Oh, this is my wheelhouse. That is for sure. Look how pretty. I'm going to get so much use out of this. These are like all colors that I basically use anytime I actually put eyeshadow on. That's perfect. I've heard their stuff is pretty good too. This is a good like travel size palette. Um, definitely not too big. Really good size for like fitting in a bag. It's about the size. I'm a little smaller than my hand. <clears throat> I didn't see this on any of the previews, so that's super exciting. I did not know this was going to be in there. And I've got another makeup product. This is the Makeup Eraser. It says, erase all makeup with just water. Antibacterial, reusable. It's a cloth. So one thing I have been trying to do um, is reduce the amount of garbage that I make um, on the regular. So I did recently switch from using normal cotton pads, um, like cotton rounds, to uh, reusable bamboo ones. I will say this feels way freaking softer than any of those. It's a big old cloth. You can use this on your face, obviously. It's meant to take makeup off. Very, very freaking soft. Obviously, this gets rid of the need for wipes. That's fantastic. It says you can wash it with laundry. It says all you need is warm water. However, you can definitely use product with it. And then continue with your normal skincare routine after. I'm going to try this tonight when I take my makeup off. I'm excited for this. I do use a cleansing oil. Um, but I hate how the like a normal bath towel feels on my face after I clean with that. So this probably will be like a really good combo. Um, it's really freaking soft. Um, and it feels super absorbent. So I've heard these are really good. I'm excited to try this. Um, seems like there's kind of like a makeup theme going today. But... I'm down to the last few products, and these are what I do remember picking out. I'm so excited for these. Um, I bought some slippers a year ago, two years ago. Daisy's favorite thing when I brought her home was to chew on my slippers. She doesn't do it as much now. She's older. But I've needed new slippers for a really long time. But slippers are freaking expensive. And I don't wear them enough to want to spend, like, crap tons of money on a really good pair of slippers. Then they showed me these babies. These are like so my style. They're just knit gray with a little bit of fur on the inside. These are PJ Salvage. They feel so soft and comfy. I'm gonna try them on right now. Oh, they're perfect. They're so perfect. They're so soft. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to wear these. These are going to be amazing for my work from home days. Oh, I'm so pumped. These are literally perfect. And so my style. I'm so excited. They're literally exactly what I would have picked out in this store. And I probably would have paid half the cost for these that I did for the whole box if I bought them in the store. But now I got them with a bunch of other crap for $50. So pumped. And I also have been really needing a blanket to go over my comforter in my room. Blankets are also very expensive, especially the nice fluffy ones. 
This is the softest blanket I've ever felt in my entire life. It is unhide. Obviously fake animal, fluffy, furry, friendly, fresh faux. No animals were harmed in, harmed in the making of this blanket. I'm just gonna whip it open. It's like a beautiful cream color, matches my room perfectly. Oh yeah. This is literally the softest blanket I've ever felt in my life. It's pretty tiny, I'm not gonna lie. I'm five, it's just not very wide. Like I can't even completely stretch my arms out. Um, but lengthwise, it goes like from my toes up to my nose, basically. I am five, three. So if you're taller, you might struggle with that a little bit, but this baby is soft. It is also just like a super cute, um, very decorative blanket. It got stuff all over my pants. But definitely good, like, decorative blanket um, if you're into that kind of thing. I don't know how to do that, how to make a blanket look good on a couch. But this is the, this is the right kind of blanket for that. And last but not least, another thing I didn't... Maybe I picked this out. I don't know. I don't remember if this is going to be in there. It has a rose gold plating and one Sor Swarovski crystal. This is super pretty. Also very my style. Really simple. There's literally one, you can see over here, one tiny little Swarovski crystal. I can't freaking talk today. One little crystal in there. Swarovski. A Swarovski crystal, not just a crystal. Right there. Rose gold, freaking beautiful, perfect, like, simple design. It is kind of cute because it's not like a perfect circle. It's got, like, very clear, I don't know if you guys can tell, like, little imperfections throughout. Um, I really like that. I think it's cute. And that is gonna be it. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven items, six, eight items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven items. Um, my favorite thing after I open everything is to go through and add it all up. Well, do not touch my slippers. My favorite thing after I open everything is to add it all up and see how much I got for my box. So I'm going to take my handy dandy little um, catalog and add everything up. 288 dollars worth of stuff was in this box and I paid 50 this freaking blanket alone was 65 bucks it is actually super warm like this baby will keep this baby will keep me toasty if you're tall if you're a normal sized human it might be a little small but I'm not so this will be perfect for me I'm pumped. Daisy hopefully will not ruin it. Do you promise? Do you promise you won't ruin it? I don't know. She already sniffed the slippers. I am so excited. Whoa. So excited. There's stuff everywhere. I cannot wait to use all this stuff. This is a really good box, guys. A lot of them are a lot like this. Um, this one was kind of makeup heavy. Some of them are more heavy in like the items. A lot of them have home stuff, lifestyle, everything you can think of. My camera's gonna run out of battery, so I'm gonna leave it there. All I'm saying is you should go check it out. This is not sponsored, by the way. I love FabFitFun, Fab but they have no idea I'm doing this. Keep tripping over my words some more. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This was a rough one. I'm a little rusty, it's been a while, so please be forgiving, but I'm gonna try and get back into it for you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.